I don't know about you, but I love engaging with the Holy Spirit in the scriptures in fresh new ways. And I wanna share something utterly lovely with you about how you can do that too. In the account of the incarnation of Christ in Luke 1, I'm struck by several things in Mary's personal prayer practice, and they all come together in something I call love the word. L is listen, O is observe, V is verbalize, and E is entrust. Mary listens to the word of God through the angel Gabriel. Perhaps we mostly consider prayer as saying stuff to God, but Mary shows us that prayer that incarnates the word of God into the world begins with listening. She listens to the word. We do that every day in our daily quiet time with the scriptures. Then she observes. To observe is to ponder, to gather the pieces together into a whole picture like a puzzle. Mary observes her relationships and circumstances in light of the words she hears from the angel, and she understands the meaning. She goes to visit and serve her cousin. Then she verbalizes back to God what she believes she's heard and what she thinks it means. She does this through the Magnificat, the song of praise she offers in verses 46 through 55 of Luke 1. She draws on the wealth of her personal knowledge and memorization of scripture too, because the Magnificat is drawn largely from the Old Testament song of Hannah and the Psalms. After listening, observing, and verbalizing, Mary entrusts all of it back to God. May it be done to me according to your word. Listen, observe, verbalize, and trust. This is an ancient way of praying with scripture that is reflected in Mary's own practice. And when we love the word the way Mary loves the word, it grows and flourishes within us. And we are transformed and we are able to incarnate that word back into the world.